welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, then a very big hello. My name is Louise. Today I have the first part of the compact with me for my American road trip. So if you're new here, a very big hello. My name is Louise and I moved from the UK to Canada four years ago. My page is all about travel and adventure. If you're into that sort of thing, we go to many provincial parks, we travel a lot of America and Canada, then make sure you hit the follow button. But very, very soon we are going on another road trip, which is really, really exciting. We are taking our trailer down America. We're starting in Niagara Falls, Canada. We're driving to New York State, then we're going to Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. Our end is in Orlando, Florida, where we're staying at Fort Wilderness Lodge for five nights and six days in our trailer. Um, this is a chilled, relaxing vacation. We're gonna be spending a lot of time at the water parks and the pool at the fort, um, and we're just doing one Disney park. We said once we've got there, if we feel relaxed and we're enjoying our time and we feel like we wanna add an extra park, then we will. We'll probably add Animal Kingdom as a park hopper as it closes very early and then go to Hollywood Studios to watch Fantasmic. But that's only if we feel relaxed enough to do so. Like me and Jake, which is my boyfriend, we go on so many different adventures. Most of them are really not relaxing. <laughs> we go on a lot of hikes. We go on a lot of lake trips and this one we do really just want to sunbathe by the pool, have a cocktail in our hand and no better, no better place to do that than the fort at Disney. Now we did do this last year uh, but when we got down there the fort was actually closed because there was a hurricane. I will leave the playlist down below if you want to go watch it. We ended up staying in Pop Century, the hotel, which was actually amazing because we got to go on the cable carts, which was new. So if you wanna watch those vlogs, I'll leave them linked down below. We went to all the parks, it was super fun. We did so much, but this time we do want to relax. But the reason why this is just part one of the compact with me is because when you're going in a trailer and you're driving down, it is slightly different than flying. Um, there's a lot more preparation involved. Normally you have a suitcase that you have to fill and once it's filled, you're done, you're ready to go on the flight and there you go. This time we have all of our personal belongings, which is what part one's gonna be, my clothes, my shoes, um, like personal items, which I need to put in the trailer. And then part two is gonna be actually packing the trailer. So we're gonna be packing like our chairs and what technology we have to take and first aid kits and supplies and barbecues. Like there's so much more when you're traveling down and living out of your trailer and I didn't want this to be too long, so I thought I would do my personal one first, uh, and it means I can show you some of my outfits. Now, bearing in mind we're only having one park day, we will be going to Disney Springs a lot of the evenings to be going to eat and things, so we're still in the Disney bubble. So a lot of my clothes are Disney themed because we are staying in a Disney campground and we will be utilizing that. So just keep that in mind when you're watching this, but I'm so excited. I'm a big Disney fan, as you can probably see with my art piece behind in my dining room, and I'm just so excited to be back in the Disney magic, even if if we're going just for one park. We will be there over the Halloween period, which is another thing I'm very excited about. Apparently, lots of trailers cover their plot with like pumpkins and blow up things. So we will be doing a tour when we get down there. But this is like the first part of this awesome road trip that we're gonna be doing. And I'm gonna take you along with us. So make sure you are following. We stop in near enough every state to get our picture with the sign and to visit new gas stations and try new foods. Um, if you're not following me on TikTok, go follow me over there because that's like the raw live stuff. I literally post straight away as the videos you do have to wait. But I'm gonna stop talking now and we're gonna show you what I've packed. So I've literally laid it all on my dining table. So let's get into it. Okay, so when I do fly places, I love packing cubes. Like that's my old go-to packing way. So I've got all my shorts in one bag, all my dresses. And when you're traveling a trailer, you do have storage for all of it. So I am still gonna describe it in that kind of category. So I do have my tops, evening dresses, swimwear, shorts, pajamas, park outfits, makeup, hair, hats, accessories, handbags and shoes are on the floor. So let's get started. 
So first thing first is our park outfits, which I'm just going to quickly talk through. So I have this play suit, jumpsuit. I always get them mixed up. It's just white, it's nice and soft. I got this from Ardeen and it was $14.80, so around £10. I just think this will be really cute, really comfy as well, which is what you need for the parks. Um, and I'll show you some shoes that I've paired it with later. And then, because we are staying at the fort, we're gonna go in for early access. You get the private boat over. Um, so we're in the park from 7.30 a.m. So we think after the parade, we're gonna go back, have lunch, and then come back in the evening and stay all the way till close. So I have got a second park outfit for the evening. Um, it's just this pink, like, cami dress. Again, really comfy. I like wearing a lot of dresses. Um, it's the same color as the one I'm wearing now, but it's just got a little bit more flow to it. If I'm eating a lot that day, it's not too tight like this one. It's got a matching hair bubble. And guys, I actually got this from Walmart in the kids section. It's age 16 years old. And I literally got it for so cheap. Yeah, I got it for $5. Five dollars. I am a bargain shopper, guys. So if you want me to do a comp shop with me one day, I only buy things on offer. And then obviously I had to get ready uh, Animal Kingdom outfit. Just in case we do go, I want to be prepared. And if not, I can still wear this around the park. Um, so it is this parrot dress. It's exactly the same as the pink one. It was the same price, $5 from Walmart, age 16 years old. It will just look such a vibe in Animal Kingdom, I think, and it's something very different to what I normally wear in Animal Kingdom. I do normally go for the safari feel, so I thought this was really, really cute, so I got that for Animal Kingdom. And then I did bring my safari outfit just in case I chickened out or just in case we do go back to the trailer for lunch again and then we go back and then I can get some different pictures. So I did bring this. But if I don't wear this in Animal Kingdom, if we don't end up going, then obviously we're staying in the fort where there's lots of opportunities to wear this because it's proper on theme and this is like a go-to outfit. So that is my park outfits. And just to let you know, once I've done this today, I'm actually hanging it all on hangers because I have a wardrobe in my trailer and it'll be going in there. We're taking an iron and an ironing board. So it's a very different way of doing Florida and we're so excited. Um, next, moving over to our tops. So I got just this, a few camis that are gonna go with shorts underneath the dungarees. So I just have a brown one. I have a green one. I love this color at the minute. And I also have a white one. So I have different colors. Like I said, these can go under the dungarees or it can just pair with some shorts and it's just nice to wear. I've also got my Bucky's top that Jake picked me up when he went down to South Carolina. It's just tie dye with Bucky in the corner and the back is just super cool. If you don't know what Bucky's is, basically it's a gas station which is South of America. So like South Carolina, Georgia and Florida and it's amazing. Go back to watch my vlogs, you will see it there. And if you watch my vlogs driving down, you'll also see it because we're 110% stopping. It's literally the Disney version of a gas station. It's incredible. Bucky is in there. The food's amazing. Um, yeah, so he got me that top. I also have this top as well, I just thought this was just super cute with some shorts. If we're going to like Disney Springs or the Outlet one day, or just to chuck on on top of bikini. And then I just have another tank top too, which is a blue one. I also have some themed tops just in case I need them. Um, so this is the Halloween one that we got last year when we went to the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. Like I said, our last trip we fitted a lot in and we actually made it to the party. We're not going to be going this year but I thought this would be quite cute to wear anyway, just around the park, just to feel involved. And then I did bring one spirit jersey. It is my Hocus Pocus um, Villain Spectacular. And this one was from 2019. And I actually got this in the outlet when I went for Christmas 2019. And I literally got it something like 20, $15 or something like that. I absolutely love it. I don't know if I'll end up wearing it because Florida is going through a huge heat wave at the minute and apparently it's still super hot when we go. Um, but it's nice just to have it just in case. And if the evenings do get a bit chilly, then at least I have that to chuck on. 
Now the thing with me is I absolutely love spirit jerseys. I do have a handful, I wanna say about five. And the, the temptation to pack it all is just so, like I just wanna pack everything but I need to be sensible. My wardrobe is about this side in the trailer and I definitely don't think I'm gonna be wearing all of them. So I'm sensible and I've just packed the one and it's the Halloween one and I think I'll definitely wear it. So I'm being sensible guys. Moving on to some evening or day dresses. I just have my go-to red dress. If you could probably see, I'm really into these floaty non-tight dresses for Disney. I just want to feel comfortable so I think this will look super cute um, in the evenings with some trainers or some sandals. I also have a plain black one which is exactly the same style but just with a racer top. Um, it's again very floaty. We'll go with everything because it's black and then this one does need to be ironed but again <laughs> it's floaty my favorite color green it's a halter neck and it is just floaty and it's really really cute so I do have a few other dresses but we are only there for five evenings so I don't want to overpack um, that's three dresses right there but one evening we will be in the park which is the fourth and then I do have a few nice t-shirts and things like that to go with some shorts so swimwear is, I've took this like oversize long shirt. I got this from Airy in the outlet. I absolutely love Airy. It's one of my favorite, favorite brands of all time. And I think this will just look really cute to chuck on on top of a bikini or a swimming costume if you're down by the pool and you're going to take a, your drink to be refilled um, and things like that. So I just got this because I think I will wear it. I just bought two swimsuits. So when I wear one, one could be drying and then I can just alternate. One is this Polo Ralph Lauren one. Jake treated me to this for my birthday because I fell in love with it. Next one is just like a high-waisted Adidas one and it's pink. High-waisted swimsuit as well. We are hoping to get to both water parks because we do just want a more chilled holiday. So we are trying to get, to get to both water parks. Next up is the shorts. So I do have these pajama shorts from Gap, but I wear them as swim shorts, um, just because I think they look cuter as swim shorts. They are very colorful, and this looks really cute on top of my polo swim sh swim swimming costume. And then these ones look cute on top of the bikini, and these are also from Gap, and they're just some very comfy shorts to chuck on. I also just have two um black shorts wear underneath dresses because i am a girl that chafes and it's not very pleasant when you are chafing and also some great chafe shorts too um just to wear underneath dresses just to keep comfortable and then also i am just packing these denim shorts i'm not a denim short girl in the heat I find it super uncomfortable. They're very harsh material to wear, um, but I do really love these. These are from American Eagle, which is like the same company as Airy, and they've just got little flowers on them, and I just think they're really, really cute. And I did get them in a size up, just so that I am comfortable in them. And again, I can wear any of my tank tops that I talked about before with these shorts, and it'll be a cute little outfit. Next up is my pajamas. So I got these pajamas from Primark in um, New York and they are, I'll bring it up close because I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but they're Bambi and Thumper. How cute. Um, it is a cropped one with some shorts. It is going to be really hot in the evening. We will have our air conditioning on in the trailer. Um, I am as well packing a sec. It's just in the wash. Um, and it's a tank top and shorts as well. But I thought this would be a really cute because we're in the forest as well. I thought this is perfect theming and I love it so much. The only other piece of clothing I wanted to show you was what I'm traveling down in. So we are traveling one full day down to Florida and then half a day and then arriving at the fort at two o'clock the next day. So literally comfort is the key for this. 
So I've just got my grey shorts, which I got from Blue Notes like three years ago for like $5. And then I got just a grey tank in case it's super hot in the car, especially when you reach South Carolina, that's when the heats are going to hit. So just that. And then if Jake's blaring the air conditioning, which is going to be happening because he does it, I have got my clear water Florida sweater, which I picked up in 2019 um, when we went down to Tampa and we went to Clearwater Beach. So I just thought that's a really comfy, cute outfit traveling down in. Um, and I could just probably wear it the morning as well the next day, just because I'm not doing anything in it apart from traveling. This is all of my clothes. We're now going to move on to accessories um, and then makeup and hair. Okay, you can't go to Disney and not bring your ears, let's be honest. So the, the ears that I am bringing is these original black and red ones. These were my very, very, very first ears I brought in Florida in 2019. I got them in the Walmart for like $5. They are the most comfiest ears that I own. If I go to Disney Springs in the evening, I think it will look really cute with this black dress with some Converse or this red dress with some Converse. I like, they're just so practical. I love them so much. As you can see, they have sparkles of, on them and I just absolutely love them. They're so comfy, they're so light and these are gonna be like my forever ears, I think. They're the original, they're my favorite and yeah. My next ears are gonna be these Pascal Rapunzel ears. Rapunzel is my favorite Disney princess and my favorite Disney movie. I got these off Etsy in 2020 um, by the seller called Ears by M. I will link her if she's still around, but her ears are like top quality. Like I said, I've had these for nearly three years. I've worn them to the park three times in three different years and I absolutely love them. They made so well. And I think these will look super cute with my Magic Kingdom outfit when we go to Magic Kingdom. And this is a really cute little outfit. As you can see, Pascal is just there. It's got a pink bow and then there is the Rapunzel dress. And they're just made so well, like the inside of them. I love them so much. And then my third and final ears that I am taking is my Lotso ones. These have seen better days, but these are one of my favorite ears too, because I made them myself in 2020. Um, I made these when I was going to the Halloween party. I was going as Lotso, I'll insert a picture here. These took me so long to make, and I think if I was to make more ears, which I really hope I do in the future, I'll make them a lot better. But when I wear these around the park, so many people ask where I got them from, People have asked me if they smell like strawberries, which I now spray them with the strawberry scent just so that they do. And so many people and cast members love them. And they're my favorite ones. They are very delicate, like they are on the verge of breaking. I have to keep gluing them. But for my first go it is, I think I did a really awesome job. And I think in the evening in Disney World, um, in the Magic Kingdom, when we go back, I'm gonna wear this outfit and yeah, just to get some different pictures from the morning and I'll show you these up close. I've took these to Disney World three times now as well. So I'm actually really, really proud of myself of how they look. But look at little Lotso there and the bow. The thing that I don't like the most is like the inside. I don't think I performed that as well. But the actual ears itself, I'm really, really proud of myself. Um, so they're my Lotso ears. My next up is hats. So I have this beach and pool hat, it's a polo one. It's pink and it's got a uh, blue writing, sorry I had it the wrong way around. And this will be go well if I'm going down to the pool, I'm going to the water park or we're going to the beach. Um, I just shove it on my head and I think it looks really cute actually. I love this hat. <laughs> it's a bucket hat. I think it goes really nice with all my other swimwear. So that's the first hat. I used to wear hats all the time, but I'm now a sunglass girl. Like I love wearing sunglasses and you can't really wear your sunglasses and your hat at the same time. But this is the second hat. Wow, I made that small. I got this from Primark in the States when I went to Primark to visit in Buffalo. And it is just a Disney hat. 
This one, I don't mind if it gets damaged or if it gets sweaty. Again, this will probably just be walking around. It was super cheap and I just think it's cute. It's also my favorite green color that I like at the minute. So yeah, this is just the second hat. I'm only taking two hats this time. Obviously, I'm taking my makeup. So I've got my makeup, I've got my brushes and I've got my sponges. I don't wear a lot of makeup in Florida, especially if we're gonna be around the pools a lot. But I do like getting myself glammed up in the evening to go to Disney Springs or go to Universal, um, Universal Walk, I think it's called. We're going to Bubba Gump there this year. So I do wanna get myself glammed, so I'm taking that. I'm taking two hairbrushes, my normal hairbrush, and then my wet brush. I highly recommend a wet brush if your hair gets tangly when you uh, wash your hair. Jake actually brought this for me because it has mini on it the other day and I, since I've been using it, I don't think I could ever go back. So I've got my two hair brushes. I also have my straighteners just in case. I wear my hair in French plaits a lot of the time, but just in case in the evening, I wanna straighten or curl my hair, then I only need to take my hair straighteners instead of my curler as well. And inside this little bag, which is a little mini bag with the L on it, in here I just have hair bubbles. Um, I have a clip that's like a mini clip. I just have some necklaces, some jewelry, uh, some extra sunglasses some grips and then some um, on my mini earrings. And then this is a jewelry pouch from Ana Luisa, but in there I've just got grips and hair bubbles. And this is kind of like all my Lucy accessories in here. And I have a lint roller to roll myself down. I'll also be getting ready in the trailer and things. Um, once we've ironed it, I just wanna make sure there's like no dust or anything on my clothes. So I've got a roller. I have hairspray, deodorant. So these are my two go-to sun cream. I am just gonna put a disclaimer out there. I am very olive skin and I tan very easily. It's not very often that I burn. So that is why I do have a Hawaiian Tropic 4 SPF, but that is mainly just for my legs and my arms. And then I have this Factor 30, which smells amazing. If you've never tried this brand, go and try it, because honestly, it's insane. Um, and this is for my face um, and my shoulders and my chest, and this is Factor 30. Then just have my body spray and my lotion. Are from the company, The Body Shop. I absolutely love The Body Shop, and this is their coconut scent, and oh my goodness me, if you wanna smell like you're on vacation or you're in summer mode, you need to get these. When I wear them to work, everyone always tells me you smell amazing. So this here is the actual body spray for it. And then this is the lotion which I put on in the evening once I've had a shower, but they're both together. Oh my goodness, this is the dream couple right here. And now we are just moving on to shoes and bags, which I'm gonna be honest with you, I probably have more shoes and bags than I have do, than I have clothes and accessories. Just because I am a shoes and bags girl, I'm not really a clothes girl or makeup girl. You take me in a shoes in a bag shop, oh my goodness, I'm buying the whole thing. So let's get started on my shoes and my bags. Okay, so you can't go on holiday, especially Florida, without Crocs. So I have two pairs of Crocs that I'm taking. I have got this new lilac color, and I'm obsessed with these. I've only worn them once so far because I want to take them to Florida as my new shoes. <laughs> and in it, it says girl power, girl power right there. And I absolutely love these. I actually might wear these to Magic Kingdom with my white play suit and my um, Rapunzel ears because I think they're super cute and they're good to wear around the pool too. I have seen better days, so don't judge me. I am going to deep clean them before I go. But, oh my goodness, guys, I've miss, I'm missing one. I'm missing my sloth. But these are gonna be like my hiking crocs around the fort, or if I'm going to the pool, or I'm going to the washrooms. These are what I'm just gonna chuck on, and they are my turquoise pair. 
I then just have these black sandals too, just because they go with everything in the evening. If I've got a little black dress that, or a little the little red dress, and I don't want to wear trainers or anything like that, then I've got these to chuck on. And I have these sandals, which are a little bit more glam if I want to wear these in the evening, or I thought if I am going to Animal Kingdom with the parrot dress, these will be really cute. And um, I actually got these in Walmart for a dollar in the States. When they have sales over there, it's actually crazy. I have two trainers. One of them are these Reebok Classics. They are a cream color. I got them for my birthday and they have a pink and green going through it. And most of my outfits that I've brought with me are pink and green. So I think they'll just go with everything. And I think I'm gonna wear these in the evening for Magic Kingdom with the pink dress and the Lotso ears, just cause they'll be nice and comfy. Last not least, my red Converse. They are a staple in Disney Florida, um, just because they go with most things. Um, any of my black dresses, my red dresses, and then my black and red ears. Uh, they just give them mini vibe. They're super comfy. So all together, I'm taking one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of shoes. I'm there for six days. And I was going to take cowboy boots because I thought they'll be cute in a picture around the fort. But Louise, come on. It's going to be 40 degrees. I ain't going to be wanting to put on cowboy boots in 40 degree heat. I do have Javianas too, which I'm contemplating packing. But I really do not need seven pairs of shoes. So I just need to force myself not to take those. And now my bag problem. <laughs> no one judged me because I could have actually brought a lot more. I've narrowed it down to just four. So no one judged me. But I do have this backpack, which I got from the Disney stores before they closed down in the States. And it's Steamboat and then it's uh, Mickey and his normal and then Fantasmic Mickey. And I just thought this would be a cute big park bag. Then I have a bum bag just because I am a sucker for a bum bag. I wear bum bags a lot and with a lot of my dresses, I think this will be cute. It fits my camera and my phone in here perfectly, plus um, some money just in there. And this will just go over a lot of outfits. It's not any of my designer ones or anything, so I don't care if it gets ruined. But yeah, this is just a bum bag. I have my beach and pool bag, which I actually got from Primark. Um, it's got Minnie and Mickey on the front and it's a wicker bag. It's absolutely huge. So it'll fit a beach towel. It'll fit my sun creams. It'll fit my camera. Yeah, and this I will probably use for every pool day, beach day, whatever we do down the day. <laughs> I absolutely love this bag. And my last but not least bag is my Kate Spade bag. I got this for my birthday this year from my brother and my sister-in-law and I absolutely love it. It fits my phone perfectly and my cards. And I think this will be a really nice evening bag for Disney Springs. Absolutely love it. It's super cute on. It's gonna go with any of my black or red dresses and I haven't worn it yet, so I'm excited to wear it. Okay, so this is all of my personal items. I obviously have like towels and also my magic band that I need to pack, but this year I am gonna buy a new magic band when I get there because mine is actually a Christmas one from 2020. So I do wanna get a new one, but this is kind of all my personal items. And then in the next come pack with me, we're gonna be taking it into the trailer. We're gonna be packing the trailer before we set sail, set, set dry, before we get going on our road trip. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you needed some ideas on what to pack or what to wear in Disney World, I hope it helps you. Let me know down in the comments your favorite items or if you're going to Disney soon. And yeah, I'm so excited to be sharing this next adventure with you and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.